Now that you're able to perform a steady sound on the mouthpiece, we're going to practice changing pitch. In horn playing, it's helpful to think of the mouthpiece as the instrument and the horn as the amplifier. Any music you want to play on your horn can and should be practiced on the mouthpiece. If done properly, this will help your accuracy and tone quality. To start, we're going to work on mouthpiece sirens. In your practice so far, your pitch may have changed by accident. We're now going to learn how to change the pitch intentionally while playing on the mouthpiece. Listen as Katie demonstrates a mouthpiece siren for us. Notice that the embouchure does not change drastically. To move the pitch lower, you keep the air moving at a steady pace and gradually open the aperture. As you go lower, your mouth might open slightly. In the mouthpiece visualizer, it would look like this. Notice that both lips still vibrate while the aperture grows slightly larger. The lips will vibrate slightly slower. Watch again as Katie performs this siren on the visualizer. Now listen to the result on the mouthpiece. Now let's try it together. Use a mirror to place your mouthpiece correctly and to check your embouchure. Get set. One, two, ready, breathe. How'd you do? Did the pitch change? It may be helpful to think of the center of the lips getting a little softer as you go lower. Let's try it again. Set your mouthpiece. One, two, ready, breathe. If your lips stop vibrating during this exercise, you may be opening your aperture up too much or letting your lips get too soft too quickly. Work to make the change more gradually. Let's try it one more time together. One, two, ready, breathe. Now press pause and practice your downward mouthpiece sirens using these important reminders. Now that you've worked on sirening down, let's work to siren back up. Listen as Katie demonstrates this exercise. For this exercise, you'll perform your downward siren and then simply return to your original starting pitch. So remember what the starting pitch feels like. Siren down, then return to the feeling of the starting pitch. Watch as Katie does this one more time on the mouthpiece. Watch as Katie demonstrates this on the visualizer. Notice that the aperture size is the same at the start and the end. The center of the lips softens slightly, then firms back up slightly. Watch Katie demonstrate this once more on the visualizer. Now listen as Katie demonstrates this again on the mouthpiece. Let's try this together. Be sure to use your mirror to check for embouchure consistency. Set your mouthpiece. One, two, ready, breathe. How'd you do? 
As you work to bring the pitch back up, be sure to keep your air moving at a consistent and fast speed. Don't blow drastically faster air, and don't pinch the teeth together. Simply let the lips return to their starting position. Try this one more time with Katie. One, two, ready, breathe. Now try these mouthpiece sirens on your own. Once you get the feeling of lowering and raising the pitch on your mouthpiece, you can expand your range to the lower register and then the upper register. Each time you perform your mouthpiece sirens, focus on these essential elements of mouthpiece sirens. Make sure your mouthpiece is placed correctly. Keep your corners firm and your chin smooth. Be sure to take a full and proper breath. Keep your air flowing constantly and maintain constant lip vibration throughout your sirens. Keep your teeth apart and your mouth open, particularly when moving back up to the starting pitch. Make the pitch change gradual and smooth. Do not force the pitch on the upward siren. Learning to perform a consistent mouthpiece siren with a good sound is an important part of playing the horn.